Hello Pisces, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so very much for joining me. This is going to be for those of you who have Pisces placements that you feel are significant. So if you identify as a Pisces, it doesn't have to be your sun sign. This reading can resonate with you. Take what resonates with you the rest for someone else. What does Pisces need to know right now? Tell the truth Thursday. We're using the truth is that this deck can be a bit triggering, okay? Just as a heads up. Just Pisces. Oh. Pisces needs to know today. We have manipulation, decisions being influenced or exploited by, exploited by outsiders, okay? Some of you could feel you're being pulled in a lot of different directions. You have a lot of people trying to take advantage of your kindness. You know, Pisces is kind and caring. And so someone could be manipulating. We're going to see what it's about, though. We have missing you, longing to be with you again. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Some of you also could be dealing with another Cancer or Pisces. Could be another water sign. Could be an older masculine, doesn't have to be. Dying love, the conclusion of this connection is approaching. Okay. Manipulation. Missing you. I feel like there's someone here missing you. Because outside the, of outside influences, you know what I mean? Like there are other people, look at all of those opinions and those fingers pointing. It's like maybe the masculine here is being blamed for something and then the feminine is missing the masculine, but it's all because of outside influence. So we have dying in love, the, con the conclusion of this love, uh, the connection is approaching. Then we have caught in a compromising position. Capricorn got this as well. Okay, wait a minute. Saying I don't want, I don't want no copyright issues. Had to deal with that a couple weeks ago. All right, let's see. What's this manipulation about? We have soulmate, twin flame, soul contract, soul connection, and past lives. Some of you, this is a past life soulmate. There could be a lot of karma involved in past life soulmate connections, but this is someone you feel is a soulmate. They feel your soulmate because they're missing you. Unfinished business. It says it's not over. Patterns back and forth and baggage. Mm -hmm. They feel like they're outside influences. Someone could be about to bring you flowers here. I mean, you could be going on like a movie date. I want to see. What is this dying love? We have home. Comfort, safety, belonging, and shelter. I feel like the way the relationship has been is coming to an end. I don't think the relationship is ending because we have home here. Some of you could live with this person. Maybe we're considering moving with this person. Let me see what this says. It says you feel like you belong with this person. They feel like home to you. Could be an Aries. Let's keep going. I'll clarify with the tarot. Look, roll the dice. Take a chance, risk, leap of faith strategy. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Well, like I said, some of you could be on the cusp, Aquarius, Pisces, cusp. It looks like someone may have taken a chance. They did something risky with someone else here. All right, let's see. Wow, you got the soulmate card. Clarifying the soulmates. This is your soulmate. I told y'all last week y'all had a soulmate connection in your energy. And this card says, embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Um, make the choices from make choices from your heart, vibrant health or recovery from an illness. So if some of you have been, been feeling bad, you're on the mend. Um, but this is a Gemini card. So there's definitely someone in your energy that you believe or they believe or you know is a soulmate. What is this missing? It's unfinished business. It's one card for the spirit. One card, please. The Pisces. Missing you is clarified by the queen of pentacles. Generous, practical, gracious, materialistic. The ability to make anything more beautiful. A love of family and home. Home coming out again. Be practical about how you proceed. A love of art and beauty and a sensible approach. So yeah, this is telling you that. When you all go back into this, if you come back together, keep these outside influences outside, all right? 
this is talking about you being practical, okay? Maybe push some of the emotions to the side for, for a minute and focus on logic. Ask yourself, does this make any sense? Are these people here to help me or hurt me? What is this dying love? Well, we have the two of cups. This is a soulmate, y'all. Falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship. Forgiveness and the end of challenges. Exchanging gifts. Don't give up on the people you love. This could Someone could be bringing you a gift for your birthday. What's this caught up energy? We have the ten of swords. The yeah, there was some kind of betrayal, for sure. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini. It says the end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness, a weight off your shoulders, and the end of an addiction, a melodramatic reaction. Okay, so the tensions have been high, maybe between you two, and it could be because someone stepped out. But I feel like outside influence is maybe playing a role. And this relationship, this connection, okay? Ooh. Your advice card. Oh, this reading is too long. What is my body telling me right now? So what is your body telling me right now? It says our body speaks to us through physical pain or discomfort. Our body sends messages for us to look more deeply. See the trapped emotions that, see the trapped emotions, the lurking fears and beliefs that limit you. Listen to your physical body and you will be led to the source of your pain. It is time to get your healing on. Today's soul action is get the book Heal Your Body by Louise L. Hay and find the answers toward which your body is guiding you. So y'all can look into getting that book. Let me put it in the camera so y'all can see, even though her name is pretty easy to spell, but that's it. If you can see it down the bottom. All right, y'all. Those are your messages. See y'all tomorrow. Thanks for joining me, Pisces. I hope it resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Peace.